Now, the application of attenuators. The first one, variable attenuators are used as volume controls in broadcast station. This, this we just discussed now. Then, the second one, resistive attenuators are used for impedance matching. We already discussed the maximum power transfer theorem that states that maximum power can be transferred from the source to the load when the load resistance is equal to the source resistance. This resistive attenuators can be used to achieve this impedance matching. Then the third one, fixed attenuators are used to reduce the amplitude of a signal by a, by a particular amount so as to enable measurement. This, this also we have just discussed now. Attenuation factor. Okay, so attenuation is expressed in dB or in nippers. Attenuation in dB is given by the formula. Attenuation in dB is equal to 10 log of P1 by P2, where P1 is the input power, P2 is the output power. And in nepper, N is equal to anti log of dB by 20. So find out the uh, attenuation in dB divided by 20 and then take the anti log, you will get the attenuation in nepper. Now let's see the two types of attenuators, T type and Pi type. So this is the network, T type network. It represents the symbol, it represents the alphabet T. Okay, so the series arm comprises of resistors R1 and R2 is the shunt arm. The values of resistor R1 and R2 are expressed by the formula R1 is, is equal to R0 n minus 1 by n plus 1 and R2 is equal to 2 n R0 n square minus 1. Actually, these two values can be derived, but the derivation is not expected. So, you just need to know the formula. Okay. So, this is a T type of attenuator. attenuator. I think it's clear. Then, the next one is the pi type attenuator. The pi type attenuator, it looks like the symbol pi. So, in the series arm, you have R1 and R2 is in the shunt arm. The value of R1 and R2 can be found out as R1 is equal to R0 n square minus 1 divided by 2n and again R2 is equal to R0 n plus 1 by n minus 1 where n is the attenuation in nepper and R0 is the characteristic impedance.